Isabella, a word before I go? Zachary hasn't been really forthcoming with your situation, and it is something I understand it wasn't his to share. But whatever burdens you, know that it's not a permanent fixture in your life. Besides, you have people to bear it with. Say, do you want to go somewhere? Right now? Anywhere in the city. I'll leave it up to you. It wouldn't hurt. I've got some stuff I need to buy. Groceries. And there's a shop I want to check. Is it real food this time? Let me guess. Rebecca? She's just worried about you. Even I can't eat that much instant noodles. Think of it as a talent. Let's just go, Zach. Sorry, the line was really long. Uh, you didn't have to run. Sit down first. Nah, uh, I'm, I'm good. Didn't want to make you wait for these. What for? An apology. And as thanks for yesterday and the other day. You don't have to buy me anything, Zach. You were upset. You haven't been yourself recently, and people kind of miss that, you know? Are you just saying that, or...? No, really. Rebecca told me. You know how she is. Ashton, too. Ashton was an ass. He should have been named Ashhole instead. He went a little overboard, yeah. And I can talk to him if you want. He'll still tease me about it, even if it's Rebecca telling him to stop. Besides, I can handle him. You always do. And yesterday, when you talked me through my little slump, I thought, hey, I want our old Isabella back. Are you... Are you still upset? Thanks a lot for today, Zack. You didn't have to, but you did. I can always count on you. Just me? No Ashton or Rebecca? Oh boy, they won't be happy to hear that. I don't mind being the favorite, though. Nope, no favorites. But you cook better than both of them, so that's a plus. <laughs> it's always been fool with you, ain't it? Don't put it like that. You're making me sound like a glutton. I'm not saying you are. But it does feel good to know there's someone I could invite for food to be able to eat all of it. Only that? I thought we were also art buddies. Oh, that too. Uh, but the food thing really stands out when you think about it. You do eat a lot for someone your... uh... size. Low blow! I take pride in my height! So, uh... Is it okay now? Do you feel better? Does... Does it still scare you? A little. I'll be okay. I'll... I'll figure it out, somehow. It's not as bad as the other day, and Father Norman helped too. I should have brought something to thank him. Oh, we could visit him anytime! He loves hearing from the young ones. He isn't that old, is he? <laughs> Don't know. He doesn't tell. I think I might have seen his face somewhere before. 
I just couldn't recall when or where. Ash says he looks like his boss, so the bartender at the local pub if he squints. Don't take his word for it, of course. He might have accidentally inhaled something from the forensic lab again when he said that. <laughs> <laughs> If you need anything, just ring, okay? Like when Ash annoys you too much. I'll help you with him, best friend or not. No way. I can take him on. Still an extra muscle wouldn't hurt, yeah? Just let me know, and I'll back you up. My sister knows this one thing to shut him up when he's being his usual self. Ask me what it is whenever you want, and I'll spill it. I don't think that's necessary, but thanks. I'll keep that in mind. 